Hey guys, I'm back with another PvP tips video. And in fact, the very first PvP tips I did was how to become a sword lord. And a lot has changed since then. I've started doing things differently. So I think it's been long enough that we revisit it with how to be a sword lord, the sequel. Now, today I'm not gonna be talking about basic sword tips. You can check my older video for that information. But the sword in Sea of Thieves in 2022 is so unreliable due to issues with hit reg and server latency. It can hit you from like a mile away and the dance you used to do of attacking someone three times and then blocking their three attacks just isn't as relevant these days because people can just regularly attack straight through your combo when they should be getting stunned. So to be honest, I don't find myself really blocking that much unless I absolutely have to and rather opt to just stay mobile and avoid getting hit entirely. Now that being said, just because the sword is unreliable doesn't mean it isn't viable. It is honestly too viable of a weapon these days. And one thing that helps me maximize my sword efficiency is playing with a higher DPI to help with mobility and things like sword dragging, which we'll get into later. But I play with my mouse's DPI, which is 1800, and an in-game sense of five, which translates to being able to do, I think about 12 360s across my mouse pad. I don't recommend going that high because my weapon aim definitely is super jittery and suffers because of it, but it is very, very helpful when using sword. Well, let's go over some more advanced stuff. I've talked before about how the sword lunge can be extremely powerful, especially against crews that are chasing you. But as you all know, if you miss, you have that very long cooldown that leaves you extremely vulnerable. So if you're charging a lunge and you realize you might not hit it, you can actually cancel the lunge by grabbing onto anything interactable around you, like a cannon, a wheel, the sail. So this has saved me more times than I can count, so don't forget it. The sword lunge can sometimes even hit an enemy through a railing or through stairs due to server latency, but one move I really like to do is if you're boarding a clueless crew, typically on a sloop or a brig, you can actually lunge the driver off and over the railing to take immediate control over their ship. Now, besides the sword lunge, the other move the sword can do is the key factor that separates an M1 spammer sword bot from a sweaty sword lord, and that is the sword hop, where you block with the sword and hop in any direction. Utilizing this move should be your top priority, and you should be so good with this that it becomes second nature and you don't even realize you're doing it. This move is key not only for mobility, but for dodging shots and staying unpredictable. One thing you can do with this is, like I said, it can keep you moving even when you're underwater or you have a broken leg. It gives you that extra little speed boost. So I've mentioned before that you can actually phase through an enemy player by sword hopping through them. And while that is an essential move in sword fighting, one way that I actually utilize this a ton is if I'm being chased by a sword user, I can quickly turn around and sword hop through them and block their first sword attack, but keep running and that is an excellent way to create distance so you can heal or plan your next move. So this next move is honestly one of my favorites and something I've workshopped for a while now that I've yet to see anyone else do in game, but I call it the slash and grab. So when you're ladder guarding with a sword, you know how you can't slash people unless they're at the very top of the ladder? One thing you can do is jump off of your boat, slash in midair to turn and hit the enemy while they're at the bottom of the ladder, knocking them off and then you hurry up and grab back onto the ladder. You don't want to grab too early, otherwise your hit won't register, but even a good player won't be ready to re-grab the ladder if they're at the very bottom because they won't expect to be getting knocked off. So this is a very good way to surprise people. No, he's insane. Blurbs, come on. Lastly, another key component to maximizing your sword play is something I like to call sword dragging. And as I mentioned earlier, it's very helpful if you have a higher DPI for this but it's a pretty complicated topic and I actually have a dedicated video on it if you wanna check that out. But essentially the idea is when you're slashing with your sword and the hitbox is active, you wanna be dragging your mouse across the screen to try and hit as many people as possible. And while this can look like you're just moving your screen wildly, it is super helpful for keeping track of a fast moving enemy or even hitting multiple enemies with a single sword swipe. Okay, that's it for me today. I give away exclusive in-game items every Wednesday and occasionally have Twitch drops on my stream at twitch.tv slash blurbs, where I stream every weekday and most weekends. We also have an incredible Discord community full of amazing people that would be more than willing 
to join up and sail with you. So be sure to check that out. But regardless, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.